I still love the jokes integration. Did you hear about the Mexican train killer? He had locomotives. But no, today we are not going to talk about the jokes inside Home Assistant. Instead, we are going to look at two front-end components. We'll start in a couple of seconds. As I said, today we are going to look at two front-end components. First one is called the Week Planner card. And this is this card here. It allows you to create a brief or not so brief overview of the upcoming calendar events. It can be very simple, such as this one, more complex or colorful as this one. It can also include the weather information, but you can also create compact calendar card out of it. I'm really loving that card. Actually, this is one of the cards that I really, really hope the devs will implement in the main calendar inside Home Assistant. So let's get started with the installation. Since this card is still not officially part of the Hex integrations, what we have to do is we have to go to the GitHub repository for the week planner card, and we must also say thanks to the famous Wolf by clicking the star on his repository. Then after you did hit the star, go down, let's go to hacks part and copy this URL. We will add this as a custom repository inside hacks. Copy it, go to your system, go to hacks, go to frontend, click on three dots, add custom repository, paste the URL, select category Lovelace and click add. After a couple of seconds, the integration will be added. We can close this one and type here week, click on week planner card and download it. Add the time of the recording. The latest version is version 1.3.0. Click download and when it asks, reload. Unfortunately, this card still doesn't have the UI editor, but it really is very easy to tweak and get what you want out of this card. We'll start simple and we'll build on that. Let's go down. And let's start with the minimum installation. Let's copy this, add card. You can try and add week for week planner card, but unfortunately it will say that no visual editor exists. Paste here the code and you have to substitute this calendar with the calendars you have in your system. I have here a couple of calendars. We'll be pulling information from two of them. One is called you for YouTube and the other one, let's copy this trash. This is the calendar that tracks my utilities company. Let's click save. And we now have one big calendar with all the events. But the problem here is that I cannot distinguish between the YouTube calendar that tracks my future videos and streams and also the trash removal calendar. So let's customize that one. Let's go to edit. And here we will add color. And then you can specify color. It can be color by name or you can use hex code for it. It's easier to use name. For example, for the YouTube, I will use red. And for the trash, I will use green. Save. And now we can easily distinguish between those two things. Here I see what are my YouTube events. For example, this is the next video. Then on Friday, I will be having a stream. And on Saturday, we are having a meetup in Zagreb. And for the waste, I can see that tomorrow it is a mixed waste collection day. On Saturday, it's mixed collection day. Then I have bio, plastic and mixed. You can, of course, also customize if you want to see one day, few days, you can customize to have more than 10 days, etc. It's all up to you. Let's do that now. Click on edit. Let's add here days. And for example, say that we only want to see next four days. And yes, next four days are here. You can also specify if you want to see today, if you want to change the name for today to something else, but we will not be going into those details. For that, you can check the documentation. Now let's compact this because this still is a very huge card. Let's go to edit, type in compact, true. Now the card looks very compact. Let's add the weather information and select weather. For example, I will be using AccuWeather and here we can see the information about the weather. But it's only showing us icon here. What if we want to see the minimum maximum temperature Let's edit here. Let's change this like so. Show temperature. True. Show low temperature. True. And also show condition. True. 
we can see the maximum, minimum and also condition for that day or some kind of forecast. But also you can change the design, you can change the background color, no color, you can change the color of the event, etc. Let's do that quickly, let's edit this and let's add those two lines. No card background is true and the event background RGBA 000.75. Save. It's maybe not easy to see that on YouTube, but there is difference. This one is not that black and this one is completely dark or completely black. But there are also other options that you can configure in this card. Don't forget to check the documentation to see what else you can do and get out of this card. It's very nice card to manage all of your events, to see all of your calendars in one place. But if you want to get additional information on your UI, not just the calendar, but also some other things from your system, for example, persistent notifications, information about the upcoming events, but also information about the device trackers, are they at home or not. For example, you are tracking some YouTubers or content creators to see if they are streaming on YouTube or Twitch, but also you can pull the information from the Reddit integration. And by the way, I did already make a video about the Reddit integration. You can see it up here. I think it's still working. So what can you get with this other Hacks front-end component? I mentioned here we have persistent notifications, title of the notification, text of notification, the link if the notification has a link. Then we have information from the calendar. Here, this one is showing my location. I did play with it, but it should read unknown location because it currently doesn't know where I am and I'm not at home. Then I have information about the content create called Zoom Avoid. He is currently offline. And I have two topics that I track. One is subreddit for Home Assistant and the other one is for the Warren printers. And they are differently presented because you can present them in a couple of ways. I will not be going through all the details once again because there are a lot of options that you can tweak and play with to customize to your own needs. But let's look at the examples. For example, in this one, if I click the link, it will open the Reddit thread and the other one works completely different. If I click on it, I have a pop-up inside Home Assistant and I can read that post directly from Home Assistant. But yes, you can also click on view on Reddit and go to Reddit and read the thread there. Both ways are nice, I would prefer this one here. So let's go and add this one to our Home Assistant. Let's go to Hacks, Frontend, Explore and Download and type Home, Feed, or Lovelace Home Feed card. Click on it and I really do recommend, if you do install this card, if you do not know how to support the author, at least click on three dots, repository and say thanks to Gadget Channel by clicking star on his repository. There you can also read the complete documentation. While we are already here, let me copy this code here because we will be using it inside our Home Assistant. Click on download, click on download. The latest version at the time of the recording is version 0.6.5. Click reload. We can now go to Overview, tab where you want to install it, click on Pencil, Add Card, tap in Manual for Manual Card. This card once again doesn't have Visual UI Editor, but for example, you can click on Add Card, type in Home, click on Home Feed Card, and you already have the name of the card filled in. We will paste here the full code, and we will now customize it. First things first, you can change the title. Let's leave it currently at Home Feed. We can give it a card ID if you want. If you want to remove empty sections or empty items, type here true. Then we have to specify calendars. Once again, I will specify my YouTube calendar and also my trash calendar. This ID filter is used to filter items from persistent notifications. I don't want to filter anything, so I will remove this one. I will leave more info on tab state color will be true. And here I can also customize the entities that I want to have listed here. I don't have next alarm, so I will remove that one here. I do have Reddit integration, so I will specify Reddit Home Assistant. Instead of this one here, we can specify, for example, content creator, if you're tracking something, next stream or video, say true here and click save. We have information from persistent notifications. This one is here. Then from calendars, we have next event. 
This one is from my YouTube calendar. This one is from my trash calendar. You can also customize how many items can you see from each of the calendars. But once again, I really recommend that you go to documentations and check the customizations there. We have information about my channel and this is the example persistent notification. These are the two notifications here. Let's create new persistent notification. Let's go to services, persistent, type a message. Please subscribe to my channel. Title almost at 1 million subs. Call service. We now have new notification. This one here. And also inside overview, we should see the new notification. Please subscriber, I can't type to my channel. We can click on it, see it here. We can dismiss it. Also, you can click on the links inside persistent notifications. For the YouTube, you can click on it and get more information. It changed from the last video to upcoming stream here. We can click on the links to open the Reddit page and more. As I said, there is also a way to specify the device trackers. Let's do that. Click on edit. And at the end, I will copy the example code. Let's change the device tracker to something I have in this system, Pixel 7 Pro. It will be me. For the privacy reasons, I will remove this information. I'm sure that you don't care about longitude and latitude from my mobile phone. We will include history, five last events, remove repeat is set to false. And if currently the device is not home, we can substitute it for the text. For example, this one will be unknown destination. Click save. We have last five positions for me. Me arrived at unknown destination for the privacy reasons. Both week planner card and this home feed are really neat ways to organize either just your calendar, but also some other items. Whatever route you go, I think you will be happy on how they both work. As I said, check out also documentation because in this video I didn't show you everything that you can do with those cards. But hopefully I did cover the basic things that you can do with one or the other card. Don't forget to give a star to each of those repositories if you do end up installing them inside your system. If you yourself find something that you really think should be shared with others, please leave me a comment down in a comment section below. Also, I would really like to hear what do you prefer, plain calendar or this home feed? If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And while you are already there, clicking on the thumbs up, check that you are subscribed. If not, click on the subscribe button so you get notified on the future video updates and also streams. This Friday, I'm having a stream about the open e-paper device that can also be integrated inside Home Assistant. This Friday will be the stream and next Tuesday, I will be releasing video on it. That's why you really should subscribe because I think that those devices are really awesome and I really do hope that a lot of you will be implementing them inside your system. And before I end the video, I really want to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, commented or shared my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.